Hello everyone, so I'm in Christmas gift making mode. Last time I made this card box. Now I'm going to make something for younger children in the family and that is going to be a tic-tac-toe or noughts and crosses board. So I've got another bit of oak off the pile that I'm going to use and I've drawn out a simple plan. This is a 9cm by 9cm grid. So I'm going to get this bit of wood cut down on the table saw using the mitre gauge. Right, so I want this bit of wood to have a grid on it and I think I'm going to use the table saw to put it on. So I'm going to lower the blade to maybe one millimetre and then I can set the fence up at three centimetres and start running this through on all four sides. So that worked great. In fact, I'm amazed how well that worked. Now, for the actual noughts and crosses, I'm actually going to use dowels instead, and I need to drill holes in them. So the next job is just to mark out the centre point of each of these grids. So I'm going to use 10mm dowels in this. So I've got 10mm false in a bit, and I've set the depth stop so it just goes about halfway through the wood. Now I can get drilled out on all the points I've marked. The holes are drilled, but I fancy easing over the edges, so I think I'm going to add a chamfer to them. So I'm going to get the bit, put in my little 12 volt router, and run that around. Right, worst job now, bit of sanding. So to go in the holes, I've got some 10mm hardwood dowels, but they're a bit too long. So I'm going to get the bench hook set up and cut these down in half. Where I've made the cut, they just need a bit of a sand and then I need to change the colour on half of them. Well, I suppose not half of them because there's nine in total. So I'm going to do five and I'm going to stain them black using some India ink. So I'm just going to get that done and then leave them to dry. The India ink is dry, so now I'm going to get some pure tongue oil finish applied to the ones with the India ink on. The ones that are just plain and the board itself. Finish is dry on this. Now the last job is just to add some little sticky feet so it doesn't damage any table it's put on. So that's it all done and that's two handmade Christmas gifts ready for playing games this Christmas time. So, thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.